Hello ladies, this is Jeanette with Women Wearing Wigs and More. And this wig is more. <laughs> this is, I did a little chart on uh, this wig. And this is Raquel Welch Captivating Canvas in SS Ice Latte Macchiato. Um, that's a mouthful, isn't it? Uh, it's in RL 17 slash 23 SS. And it's an average size. And I did cinch it in just a tad. But it is... Uh, it's uh, working out, you know, very comfortable. So anyway, I... Um, again, that color is... SS that I think that stands for shadow shade uh, which it does have the dark roots uh, iced lat latte macchiato SS iced latte macchiato <laughs> and I have been eyeing this wig let me do a quick spin And I will say that I got this on uh, Wig Studio One, their clearance wigs, because it does have the lace front, the uh, mono part, not top, but part. And I think it retails. I really should have looked that up. I think it was... 300 or something dollars and I got it for 120 and that's including tax so and they had free shipping so uh, I just took a chance I had been eyeing that and I just wasn't sure if I was going to be able to wear it um, it is a lot of hair and this is the one that I thinned it and thinned it and thinned it and I trimmed it and did everything now in the back i didn't um i'm not brave enough to do that <laughs> but anyway um i will say that had i purchased this at full price and i got it i would have sent it back because it was just so um so so much hair <laughs> it's just plain and simple and I, I like my wigs to kind of come up, you know, if they have a wig, uh, a lace front, I'd like to push it back. But anyway, I, because I got it on clearance, I couldn't send it back. So it was mine. And I was getting ready and I got full makeup, you know, trying a wig on without makeup doesn't do it justice. So it always helps to put full makeup on. But anyway, so I put it on, and when I trim a wig, I do better by putting it on my head rather than on a canvas uh, head. Because that way, I kind of know if it's too full here that I need to trim there. I mean, it just works out better for me. So anyway, I had errands to do and had grocery shopping to do. But I got started on that, and I mean, the mess in my bathroom, I had hair everywhere. <laughs> well, not mine, but the, uh, the synthetic hair. Well, anyway, so I go about my day, and I leave, and I had intended that day to do this video that I'm doing now. And uh, I guess this was about a week ago or so. Well, I had to run to UPS, and then I had a return that needed to be returned by the Fit, uh, FedEx and Walmart, which is just like a block away from where I live, has, has a FedEx outlet there. So I went there. Well, 
once I was there, I did need some groceries. And so I just kind of took my time and was just having one of those days that I felt like just browsing because sometimes you have to kind of look or if you just hurry through, you just get the basics. And so anyway, I took my time. And I got home, and it was probably close to 6 o'clock by that time in the, in the evening. And I, had, I have a cart that I keep in my car that when I bring my groceries in, I have something to roll them in. And I did the first load and brought my handbag, and I took all the frozen things, got it in the freezer. Everything was fine. And I went back to get the second load. Well, I had gotten some heavy items, I mean, like some flour, I got some sugar, I I think I got a bottle of vinegar, I don't know, it was just everything was kind of heavy. But I had managed, and I had gotten some, a few apples and some bananas, and I just carried those because I didn't want them to get mashed. So I was holding that, and I was coming in, and I got all the way to the door, to the building, and I started feeling that feeling when I know that either my blood pressure has dropped or else I have gotten dehydrated. And it turns out it was pretty much the latter that I had gotten dehydrated. And I know that feeling and <clears throat> it just happens to me, <clears throat> not a lot, but when that feeling comes, I know what's happening. And one time I, uh, I, I had this doctor, he was a general practitioner and he was, he retired. So he was from old school. I just missed Dr. Oakman so bad. Well, I went to him because without an appointment, because I had, I had a, little juice glass in my bathroom and I would use it for mouthwash. I have since gotten a little container and I have little disposable plastic cups that I can use. Well, that particular day I dropped the glass and I tried to catch it and when I did my little pink this finger and I just went down on the glass. Well, you know, you have so many blood vessels in your hands and you cut yourself, it's gonna bleed just a long time. And I was sitting there, I had a vanity stool and I was looking in the mirror with my hand in the sink where the blood could trip. And I got that feeling and I thought, oh, oh my gosh. And I, I was talking to myself like in the mirror saying, now Jeanette, this is just a cut, it's gonna be okay. Well, I couldn't get it to stop, and that feeling did kind of go away. Well, I managed to get a towel and wrap it, and then when I got to the kitchen, I got some paper towel and just really wrapped it, and I got in the car and went directly to my Dr. Oakman without an appointment, and it was just like a block or two away. So he told me, he says, well, it's not big, but it's deep, and it does need stitches. And he said, I could send you, this is how good he was. He said, I could send you to the doctor emergency room, and you'd have to sit there three or four hours, if not longer. And then, you know, they will give you stitches. He says, but I don't ordinarily do stitches in my office. But he says, you know what, I'm going to do that. It's just a few. So he did. He took care of it right there in his office, and I, it was like, everything was fine. So anyway, I told him about my experience of feeling that faint feeling. I didn't, I, I guess I talked myself out of it because I, it, it, it wasn't too bad, but I did tell him about that. And this is a good tip to know that if this happens to you, he told me that anytime this happens, he said uh, that Wherever you are, just immediately get down on the floor and lift your legs and get them higher than your heart, and that will rush the blood back to your heart. And so I know that. And so anyway, going back to my day of going to Walmart and my little errands and everything, 
Well, I got to the door and I got that feeling. And we have air conditioned halls. So I got inside. Well, that was that was a little better. And within when this happens to me, I start perspiring profusely. I mean, like profusely. <laughs> And I get real hot and, and, you know, and see, I have to admit that I hadn't eaten all day. Here it was almost six o'clock. I had lost track of time, got so involved with my wig. <laughs> so I, uh, and it was six o'clock in the evening and I, I hadn't had any water. And that's another thing. I just don't get thirsty. I I don't know why. Once in a while, I'll want something, in, and you know, it's like I need water. But I did not have that sensation, and I was feeling fine. Well, then, and when I got inside, the elevator is right there. I mean, like two steps, literally. Well, I punched the button, and luck was with me, or maybe it was a blessing <laughs> um, that I, the, or the, the, elevator door just opened up immediately and so I got on there and I knew I was sinking fast and I punched floor four and I was able to get off and I keep in mind I'm still have this real heavy heavy cart with all my heavy groceries in my bag I was holding and I had this wig on which is a lot of hair and this and it wasn't extremely hot for Texas Houston weather I would say it was like 79 and that's not hot but you know I guess it was hot enough that it exacerbated whatever I was doing so I get in and I, I'm by the I get off and I literally get off and I make a like a u-turn in the hall and my apartment is the first door on the left so I thought I forget the groceries. I just, they had gotten up on the fourth floor, so that was good enough for me. <laughs> and so I just left them there. And I, and our, our wall, our halls rather, has a little ledge and it's no bigger than about, I guess about that. Well, yeah, about, about that wide. And I was holding on to that. And the first thing I thought of, I thought, I've got to take this wig off <laughs> to get cooler. And Another thing that can happen to me and did not happen this time is that my legs can just get glued to the floor, like concreted. I can't, I have no feeling in my legs. And so I was just praying that that would not happen. And I get about a fourth of the way down the hall, inch by inch, and I thought, you know, I need some help. I mean, I needed... I needed to get in, I knew I needed to get into my apartment, elevate my legs and get some water. And so I have a neighbor, her apartment is right at the elevator. I mean, like when you get off the elevator, you turn, it's the only way you can go. And her apartment is right there. And then I do, like I say, that little U-turn thing. So we text back and forth. So I had, because this was my second uh, load of groceries, I had left my handbag in my apartment, but I always keep my cell phone and I had it in my pocket of my pants. So I pulled my, my uh, cell phone out and I just immediately went to messages and I saw her name and I clicked on it and I hit the microphone. And <laughs> what I meant to say, was um i am out what i meant to say was i am outside your door please come help me well i guess my and my voice was very low i mean i hardly could speak and what captured on the voice uh, of my speaking was i'm out <laughs> I, please come help me. And she answered me back. She says, out? Question mark, question mark. And so then I answered her back and I just said, help. 
<laughs> and so I guess she realized that she better at least get out in her hall. <laughs> and so she did. Well, she immediately came running. And I mean, I just can't tell you how wonderful that feeling was. I, she was my angel for the day. And or, or she's an angel anyway, but I mean, I, a real angel. <laughs> and so she, I remembered her saying, oh my gosh, you're so hot. And, and so I'm, I'm holding my wig, <laughs> holding on to the wall. And she was holding my arm. Well, she says, where are your keys? Well, I, I don't have it with me right now, but I have all of my keys, including my car keys and my key fold to the, you have to have a key fob in order to even get in the building. And then that same key fob gets you, unlocks your apartment door. And I have it on a spiral wristlet thing that I just, you know, I hold on my arm. It, it's just handy. I, I said, it's on my wrist. So she was able to get it off and open my door. And so we walked in. And the first thing she said was, do you want to go sit in your chair, which is that chair behind me? Well, over on this side. Well, <laughs> okay, <laughs> that way. <laughs> but anyway, she said, you want to go to your chair or do you want to go in your bed? And I said, I want to go on the floor. <laughs> and I remember she said, oh, no. <laughs> And so, so she has a bad back too, and I do too. And so, anyway, but uh, but you see that? Um, oh gosh, how do I? Okay, back over there, that little gold stool right there. I knew it was there, and I lay down on the floor, the carpet back there somewhere, and I I said I need to get my legs up, and so, but I was able to actually do that, and so. She, uh, she says, um, uh, so she, uh, anyway, so she sat down and I said, Barbara, can you go get me a bottle of water out of my refrigerator? So she went and got it and brought it to me and, and she unscrewed the top, but I said, no, I said, I, I need to, I, I just needed to get something on my head. I knew I needed to drink that water, but I needed to lay it on my head to just kind of try to cool my head off. It was just, you know, and I mean, I remember when we, when I bent over to get on the floor back there, my, my glasses were down like this on my nose because by the time she got to me, I, my head was down to my waist. I couldn't even hold it up. It, it's scary when that sort of thing happens, but at least I know what it is. And so anyway, uh, so she, she uh, so she tightened it back up and then she just dropped it and laid it right against my neck so that it was there and so uh and she left and i thought oh no i hope she's not calling 911 <laughs> and and but she wasn't and what she was doing was I'm sorry about that somehow i cut off the video so here i am and i think i was talking about my glasses had fallen was almost was down on my nose and and so anyway she ran but uh, I thought she was going to call nine one one but no she didn't and what she was doing was going back to get my cart with my groceries and that bag on the floor which incidentally my one of my apples got bruised because oh, I just dropped it here I was didn't want to mash my bananas and my apples and <laughs> anyway but at that point I just that was the last thing I was thinking about. So anyway, so she came back in and she says, do you have some tissues? And I said, yes, right bes beside the chair behind me here, there. And so anyway, so she got a Kleenex and she's, and I was just, so I was wiping my makeup off. I mean, you know, dabbing the thing and needless to say, I didn't get that video done that day. <laughs> So when I put this on today, I thought, oh, I hope this is not an omen. <laughs> but anyway, so she stayed with me about an hour. And um, then I kind of felt like, uh, and I did drink that water. And I sat down on, uh, sat up on the floor and we just visited. And finally I said, well, I think I need to get up. And I said, don't watch me get up because I'm not pretty when I do. <laughs> and so anyway, I got up and sat in that little cane back chair 
back there, you know, this side, right? Right there, yeah. There. That little chair, my husband and I got that in 1969. And that cane is not broken. And it has cane on the bottom of it. The cushion just sits on top of it and nothing of it is broken. You just simply can't get furniture like that anymore. But anyway, we had that uh, that piece right there, that entrance piece. That was another from way back when. Anyway, I digress. <laughs> but uh, anyway, so uh, I had her bring me a few little crackers. So to try to get something in my tummy. And I told her, I said, well, I'm, I'm totally enjoying your visit, but I don't want to keep you any longer. And so she left in just a few minutes. So anyway, but I got up and I did manage and I'm very typical on going to the grocery store, getting home and I don't have a bite to eat. So <laughs> I thought, well, I'm just going to scramble some eggs and make a scrambled egg sandwich. And, um, which I knew that would be some protein, and so I got that, and I was good. And uh, but that reminds me, when I had gone to Walmart and I was shopping. Uh, I think this is going to be a longer video than I had planned, but anyway, uh, I had I was thinking I needed some mayonnaise. I like real mayonnaise. I grew up on Miracle Whip, but I somehow converted <laughs> anyway and I have always been a Hellman's mayonnaise that's just what I buy and a lot of people like Duke's mayonnaise and I like it too but it just seems like I grabbed the Hellman's well so I was in Walmart and I thought you know I think I need some uh, uh, mayonnaise so I picked it up and something made me look at the ingredients and I want you to know that when I did, I saw on the bottle, it says, uh, let me just go get that bottle, hold on. So when you look under the ingredients, it tells you, you know, a whole eggs, distilled vinegar, egg yolks, all this kind of stuff. But underneath it all, and it has it real big that it contains eggs because so many people are allergic to eggs. And um, it shows it to be in Inglewood Cliffs, New Jersey, where it's made. Right underneath that, it says, Ingredients derived from bioengineered sources. Now, that tells you it's not real food. I'll let my little black finger point the way. I don't know if you can, well, I'm just not doing that very good, but. Anyway, if you're at the store, and this, as I got home, and I'm one that when I get mayonnaise, even if and this jar has not been opened, well, if I, when I get that, I put it immediately in the refrigerator. I just like my mayonnaise cold. And so, but I didn't buy, you know, the Hellman's. I put it back and I got Duke's. And they just had a pint size which uh, I got, and I checked the ingredients, and on that, it doesn't say all that. So I come home, and I put the little pint-sized Duke's mayonnaise in my refrigerator, and I discovered that I had this one that had not been opened, and I still had my receipt. So I am taking it back to, uh, I, it was from Walmart. So um, anyway, so uh, just want to mention that, you know, it's unfortunate that we have to kind of watch what we're buying because you just don't know what is in it and how it's made. But anyway, 
I have since made a batch of chocolate chip cookies and I took it to my neighbor as a gift of thanks because, and when I was laying down on the floor, I told her, I said, Barbara, you have no idea how much I, how grateful I am for you. And uh, I said, as long as you live here, that tells me I better not move because she was just right there. Thank goodness she was home. And I do have other neighbors with their telephone numbers, but it would have been a little more difficult trying to go on contacts under the condition that I was. But anyway, that leads me to the next thing I want to talk about. Um, I got a new handbag. I had a handbag that was kind of a little small tote, and I really liked it, but it wasn't quite big enough to put everything that I like to keep in my handbag. Well, I had ordered uh, a handbag off from Amazon, and I want to show you, and I'm sure you've seen these on, on uh, Amazon and other creators. And by the way, that I don't know how to pronounce it, I guess it's Seldemir or something like that. I thought I better find out what that means in French <laughs> because I might be toting around a bad word. <laughs> so turns out it's sea salt. So I guess this is a reproduction of a sea salt bag. But anyway, but you see it, it's wide the other side. And this is what's leading me. It has a place here for a bottle of water. And guess who's going to be carrying a bottle of water with her? And either that or an umbrella. But uh, anyway, so then on the other side, it has a zipper. We got a little fuzz thing. Well, I, well, there I got it. I keep my cell phone on this side so that it's handy. And I do highly recommend that Let's see if I can do this. I can show you the inside. And I had gotten one of these organizers before, but you can see there's two pockets on this side and a zipper on that side, even without the organizer. I, I can't, I don't think, but I do recommend the organizer because otherwise your canvas bag will collapse, you know, won't sit good. And this makes it stable and also organized. So anyway, I really love it. It says these handles are leather, but I can tell they're not. And um, they're a good reproduction, but how long they'll last, I don't know. But this was like $32 with tax. So anyway, and I'm enjoying it. So I just wanted to mention that. So now I have a place to put a bottle of water. <laughs> but anyway, let me finish this up. I will say that this little sweater, which I love, it's it's got the sleeves that are lace. And I got this on Amazon. And I had this necklace. And this necklace is real cute. I mean, it's it just slides. There's two little things and you slide it and you can make it long. And then it has two little beads that you pull up and you can make it as short as you want. So I got that on, on either QBC or HSN. I used to shop from them, but I've switched to Amazon. It just seems like that's a little easier. But uh, this is called Lola Rose and whether they still have this on their website i have no idea because i've had this well probably five or six years if not longer and these are jenny bird earrings which you know i've talked about before but i will link all this including that handbag below well i better say goodbye and i hope you stuck with me this long and if so thank you and thank you even for watching what you might would watch and um I just love this color, this color wig. I haven't, uh, here I go talking more, but I will say I have a winner 
wig by Raquel Welch called Winter, and it's in the same color, and I reviewed it, and I'll try to put it up, you know, up here or something and see if you can see, I mean, if a hair, the same color on a wig, if it's long, will have a different appearance as one that is short, because, see, this one has such pretty highlights of, it's, it's a neutral color, it is, it's just really, but the other one kind of has a, seem like a yellow cast to it so but I don't see that in this one so I really love the color anyway thank you again thank you for watching and I love you bye bye